Hey, this is Chef West up at the Red Sky Cafe up here in Duck. It's uh, March down here on the Outer Banks, and we're catching the tail end of rockfish season or striped bass. Uh, today I'm going to do a rockfish and scallops Red Sky. And uh, let's start off with the scallops. They are a little bit thicker. These are ocean scallops. Come right out of Juan Cheese. Nice. And we're just sauteing those. I got my olive oil already hot. These three of them will be good. Let those things cook up a little bit. We're going to brown them on one side. Right here I got my rockfish. Now you can see it's pretty thick. Being that I'm confined by how much time I have, what I'm going to do is slice it down or butterfly it, but in medallions. Take that little red off. That's a little bit of the excess bloodline. So we just got pure, perfect rockfish. As you see, I cut it on a bias. It's going to cook quick. Now you've seen my videos before. We're doing a little kosher salt, fresh cracked pepper. I'm not using any flour on this dish. It's sort of a knockoff on it, like a clams and a white wine. And I'm going to finish it with crusty garlic bread. Look at our scallops. I guarantee you they're nice and brown already. Look at that. Oh yeah. One big problem people have with seafood is they're not familiar with it. And they tend to overcook it. You do not have to cook it for a long time. You cook it fast. That way it stays moist. And also you lock in the, the, uh, the flavors from the outside. That crustiness. There's a lot of flavor right there. Now what I'm going to do with this dish is I've taken my portobello mushrooms and what I've done is I've just marinated them, sliced them down in some balsamic dressing, which is basically just balsamic vinegar, a little bit of salt and pepper. The big flavor punch in this dish is garlic. That's fresh garlic chopped up here and we're going to really let that steep in the garlic. I'm going to use a little bit of onion in there. Let's check our fish. Oh yeah, nice and brown. Not going to take long. All right. So we got our portobellas. Let's top our fish with it. Red onion. A little bit of fresh spinach. Our vegetables. Okay. I put a little bit of cayenne pepper on top of that. I like a little bite to my dish. If you don't feel like you want it that spicy, don't worry about it. We're going to hit it now with a little bit of a dry white wine, Chardonnay. Oops. Let it flame off. That's the alcohol going away, but you still got all the flavor. This is really quick dish. Full butter. We want a lot of richness in that. Fresh tomatoes. Squeeze the lime. Then what I'm going to do is finish the top of that fish as it's steeping in those juices with a little bit of goat cheese. Now, where's our sauce coming from? Clam juice. Just like it came right out of the little neck clams. Basically it's poaching now in that broth. The heat is cooking that fish all the way through. Watch. I don't know if you can get it, but you can see how flaky it is. Fish is almost done. Take our vegetables, put it back on top. Look how nice that sauce is. Wow. Turn the heat down, let it simmer. All that juice, all that flavor, you cannot, that could not get overcooked in there. That is like right on top. Now what we're gonna do is finish plating it up. All right, now you can see nice crusty garlic, the butter has almost made a sauce with the white wine and the clam juice. What I'm going to do is serve this on our, but basically our starch today is going to be this crust, crusty French bread. I've got a little bit of uh, Cajun spice on top of it, a little bit of fresh parsley and butter. Um, what we got now is, let's plate it up. We've got our scallops, three of them. Uh, we've got our fish going right across the top. That is beautiful. And then we're going to finish that bread and get it all soppy down with that garlic, clam juice, Chardonnay wine. You know, it looks kind of heavy, but it's actually a pretty light dish. What I like to do is, of course, you know me, first bite's taken with your eyes. So let's add a little bit of fresh parsley. 
Also a little cilantro would kick it up because you got the lime juice in there. I love spice. So what we're gonna do is a little bit of sriracha aioli squiggle, which is right on the side. And then of course, from the excess scallions, we made the scallion flowers, which I've shown you in many videos. And man, there you got it. You got a uh, rockfish red sky, rockfish also known as striped bass, Juan cheese, ocean scallops, really light sauce, a little white wine, clam juice, and garlic. It's a winner. We're serving it here at the Red Sky Cafe or at your place. Check us out online, partycateringobx.com. Chef's on call. You got a big party down here? Call me up. We'll make a menu to fit your budget. Next thing you know, you're going to have me or another one of my chefs coming over to your house and cooking something just like this in the comfort of your own home. Get up with us. Thanks a lot.